What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Uber Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Terrence Crawford takes on Israel Majimov, and Terrence Crawford wins a unanimous decision. 116, 112, 114, 113 on the other two judges' scorecards. Or 115, 113 on the other two judges' scorecards. So, it was a hard fought fight for Terrence Bud Crawford. I personally picked Terrence Crawford to win by a ninth round knockout over Israel Majumov, but Israel Majumov was very herky jerky. Uh, he didn't fight like this in his last fight, but he was, um, throwing off the rhythm and the distance and the timing of Terrence Crawford. He was very herky jerky, uh, bouncing around something similar to what Sean Porter was doing, uh, with Terrence Crawford. And he was clearly bigger and stronger tonight. But Terrence Crawford laid, landed some big, big combinations and body punches on Israel Majumov. And Israel Majumov landed a couple of uh, uh, big right hands, okay? He scored some big right hands throughout the night. Uh, Terrence Crawford switched to, to Southpaw to take away Majumov's body attack. And it worked, but he made himself susceptible to the straight right hand of Israel Majumov. But in my opinion, I had Terrence Crawford winning a unanimous, a unanimous decision. I thought he won um, eight rounds to four, um, nine rounds to three. I thought he won this fight against Israel Majumov. Um, and this was his first fight in 154. Now, immediately, everybody started to talk about Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez and Terrence Crawford moving up to 168. And he just looked like a small guy tonight. At the weigh-in fight week press conference, they looked like they were about the similar size. But in the ring, Israel Majumov clearly was the bigger guy. Terrence Crawford was very quick, very fast. Uh, and as Terrence Crawford typically is, he's a dog, right? And when you hit him, he wants to fight. And a couple of times he got into a dog fight with Majumov that gave Majumov more opportunities to land the right hand. And Terrence Crawford admitted that. But I thought his counter punch ability, his combination punches, his body work was just the difference in a fight. And I gave Terrence Crawford the, the victory, nine rounds to three, uh, at worst, eight rounds to four. Competitive, uh, aggressive fight from Israel Majumov. And uh, he comes from the Eastern European style. And uh, he's a very good fighter, right? Uh, um, I, From what I've seen on tape, he presented something different tonight with his herky-jerky style. And I think he gives a lot of fighters a lot of problems in the ring. Um, but Terrence Crawford won unanimous decision, and I thought he deserved the unanimous decision victory. So Terrence Crawford says that, you know, we'll see what's next. Um, it's not deterring him because they said, do you feel like you shouldn't go to 168? And he said, no, you know, Styles may fights. He said, Israel Majumov is a big guy. He could fight at 168. So he wants to uh, Canelo Alvarez fight for his legacy. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Will he go for you, you undisputed at 154 or go to 168? That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word, I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>